Have you ever had things not go like you thought it was going to go? Didn't work out as you planned. We had that happen to us. I'm glad you're here with us. Let's get into it. The headers that came on this car were, they were long tube headers, which is really cool. I didn't really like the looks of them. I ran across a guy and got a, another set of headers. I decided I wanted to try to put paint job on them. So I got the headers all cleaned up pretty nice. Look, looking not bad, looking not bad. We're gonna go ahead and get that, I guess, ready. We're gonna paint them. I went and went to the Auto zone. We went and got in the zone and got some of this flame proof paint. It's high temp paint. It's like 1300 to 2000 degrees. And we got the high temp primer to go with it. So I'm going to see if I can't go ahead and get a, you know, some primer, some paint on those. All right. So I got my headers that I've bead blasted, you know, and got all the, as much of the rust and old paint and mess off of it as I could. And, um, we're about to wipe it down with the the prep all before we get after it with the primer and the the paint and i'm going to torch it just to kind of make sure all the oils and all that stuff are, is gone so everything it'll adhere the way it's supposed to all right i think it's just kerosene oh. <laughs> table's ready for paint Notice I'm wearing gloves, partly because of the prep ball, but also just to keep from getting oils and stuff off my hands, you know, but onto the, the pipe as I'm handling it. There's one, one all wiped down. Moisten up another little spot there. It's ceramic coated, supposedly, ceramic coating. So my understanding on the ceramic, the ceramic coating is supposed to keep the heat from, I think, dissipating away on the outside of the header, you know, keep so much heat from getting into other things. And also by retaining the heat inside, I think it's supposed to help keep the air hotter and flowing faster. I guess the hot air moves through the pipe faster than cooler air. Wonder why. I think molecules, as things get hot, molecules start moving more. And I guess those fast moving molecules you shove them down that pipe easier. Then you smart fellers. Can elaborate on that feel free to put it in the comments all right I got got them all wiped down I think I'm gonna hang them up to torch them maybe I don't know go ahead and hang them yeah I'm pretty sure I totally should have hung them to torch them that might have been one of my mistakes order some new gaskets everybody was saying I did post a little short the other day talking about these copper gaskets and I was asking if um, they're reusable and of course everybody was like no nah, I would not reuse them especially considering you know they look like they were especially this one so all that black that's exhaust leaks that's where exhaust was shooting out and not traveling down the pipe. It's a shame because it, man, it's a heavy duty filling, filling gasket. Mr. Gasket. But the gaskets I've got coming, they're aluminum. I think I ordered some aluminum gaskets. So we'll see how they work. Heck, it's like almost 40, 40 bucks for two little old gaskets. I hope they're awesome. Well, that's good. I know I said let's hang it up. Let's just do it here. We're rolling. Let's just do this. Okay. I totally should have hung these up and torched them really, really good. 
leaving them on this plastic table left me with that concern in the back of my mind so I probably didn't get them as hot as I should have here I'm gonna show you what I'm doing it's kind of neat to watch let's see if we can catch it on camera That's what we want to do. You can see, see that happen everywhere. So I'm going to go ahead and do that to both of these. I think we got them both hot. I know we got them both hot. <laughs> yeah, but was it hot enough? I think we got them both uh, ready to shoot some primer. Yeah, boy. All right, so we got the headers all ready to go. And like I said, we're going to use this VHT flame proof. Flame proof. 1300 to 2000 degrees, and it you know, it's supposed to work good for like exhaust components, headers, whatever. It's even got a picture of a header on it, on the paint. So, I mean, that's got to be some good stuff. So, anyway, here, let's go check out the the paint area. We got it all set up over here. All right, I got my help out here with me. Kobe Cat, he's an expert painter. Been painting for years. And uh, don't get distracted, Kobe. Hey, Cat. Oh, okay. I'll let you bite me. Oh, don't you bite me. Ow. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Man, I hope these things come out good. It'd be nice because I never did like those old crusty looking headers. They just look rough and I knew that they were beyond making them look good. But these right here, they may be okay. I'm just hoping they work good on the car. I know that that end is full and that end has been trimmed off and I don't know if that makes a difference on the sealing it up or not I know these guys I think they just flared the pipes so I don't see why you couldn't flare it and mash it down on that just as well but uh, <laughs> we're gonna find out all right let's get started Mmm, easy touch conical nozzle. That's nice. Can we hold that over there so I can read it? All right, X10 inches from surface, sweeping motion, two light coats, followed by one medium wet coat. Allow 10 minutes between each coat and 30 minutes before sanding or applying coat. Okay, so we need to do a light coat, wait 10 minutes. Another light coat, wait 10 minutes. Heavy. Cat, what do you mean coming over here and biting your daddy? Oh, I love you too. You're riding. Covers approximately 12 to 14 square feet. Hopefully, that'll be enough. That's a lot of coats. All right, let's shake it really good. I'm tired. All right, that's good enough. I don't know the best way to go at it. I guess I'll just go at it. Oh, that is a good pattern coming out of there. 
try to get down <laughs> in between all those pipes with a good shot without making a run. Probably ought to go get a mask on. This stuff's kind of laying heavy. What would probably be smart in between coats is flipping the direction I've got them hung. They said light coats. I think I'm doing a wet coat. Oh, you can see it flashing off. All of a sudden it gets that flat look. It goes from kind of shiny wet to, to flat. We'll give them both a few minutes. I'm gonna go wipe my tip off. All right, there's one coat of primer. We're letting it dry a little bit. You know, I'm, I'm no good with, it said light coats and I was just trying to get you know, a light coat. And I let it run right there. I think I was trying to get down in that little crack, trying to get as much primer in there as I could, and I must have got a little heavy there. But, you know, it's okay. If I'm real worried about it, I can sand that out before uh, I spray the last coat on. All right. We've got uh, two uh, nine finger wrenching coats. <laughs> supposed to be light I don't know that they're that light but anyway so that's that's two coats of primer it looks like it's flashed off so we're gonna go ahead and come back with that that last coat of primer here we go all right so we got we got all three coats of our primer on there now we're waiting I think we're supposed to wait 30 minutes before we start applying the, the color so this is a ceramic coating. So you have to shake it really good to get that ceramic mixture mixed into the paint. And then you're supposed to shake it like each minute of use, I think it says stop and shake it for 10 seconds just to keep that, that ceramic mixed up into the paint. Ceramic coating is supposed to be a little bit of a performance benefit. I don't know if it is or not, but this was the stuff that they sold at AutoZone. So that's the reason I bought it. You know, once this dries, you're supposed to cure it by going through these baking processes. Um, 250 for 30 minutes and let it cool for 30, 400 for 30 minutes and let it cool for 30, and then 600 for 30 minutes and let it cool for 30. Um, so, I don't know, I'll see if my wife maybe will let me use the oven in the house. Does our oven even go up to 600? Man, that's hot, that's crazy. But, uh, Anyway, if not, maybe we'll do do the first two, and then we'll let the 600 degree happen on the car, right? I don't know. Nonetheless, that's what the plan is. We're gonna go ahead and put our first coat color on here, get all the shaking done real quick. Here we go. First light coat. Is that really a light coat? Yeah. You tell me. We'll call that our first light coat on that one. We got our first coat of the ceramic coat, the silver on there. Let's check it out. Look at that. That's looking pretty good, isn't it? Doesn't look bad. Doesn't look bad at all. The stuff sprays on pretty easy, but you do have to keep shaking it. 
and you can kind of see as you as the spray hits you can kind of see the the texture that's in there but then it slicks out you know as it as it skims over there but it's looking pretty good we're about to go back and uh, we're, we're waiting like 10 minutes in between coats I'm gonna start shaking the can here in just a second and get ready to go back at it again Yeah. Well, I'm hurting the curse that I was the bottom end. Long headers was all you had. Long tube to the shoddy. Danita's dad came into town, and uh, I come up with some excuse where we had to get away, and I took him to cars and coffee. <laughs> it, the paint needed to dry anyway. All right, so there's all our coats of the ceramic coating. Let it hang here and, and dry most of the day. And then I guess we'll go through that curing, that baking curing process. And they turned out pretty good. I think they're gonna look great. I'm tickled about that. Heck yeah. Oh no. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service What's at this going time. On there? You know, sometimes things just don't go the way you want to. I thought I did everything I needed to do to prep these. And it, we had a catastrophic failure. <laughs> oh, mercy. And all I could do after crying was, you know, sand them down. Once I sand down the, the little bubbles, then I'm hitting going over the whole thing with the red scuff pad and then we'll go through the process again wipe them down with the wax and grease remover go over them with the torch really good and try again so there we go got these ready to to go back on the car um, before we put the headers back on the car got a new starter that we're going to going to put on figure it's gonna be a whole lot easier to go ahead and get that starter back on before we put those headers on for show sure. going in Well, I'm close to my work. You see any spiders? If you don't see them, that's okay, right? The branch up there, so I'm tight. Oh yeah. Maybe get me a couple of zip ties. All right. 
snippers. All right, so there's all our exhaust bolts. We're gonna put some anti-seize on. Okay. The gasket didn't really give me any instructions, but it said smooth side towards the header on like a different brand of aluminum gasket. So we're just gonna go with that. I think I got that one started. Let's see if I can do the same on the back here. header installed over there headers installed over there Heck yeah I got some new plugs I think I might as well just go ahead and put the plugs in oh you're still here well hey check out this video right here if you like the Mustang stuff come on back we'll see you next time